Hey guys, Cha Chan here. In today's video, I <laughs> uh, I didn't have any video for today, so I just quickly, like very quickly, sculpted this Kigurumi mask. Uh, it's a bit rough around the edges, but you know, it, it's a video. <laughs> Next week, we will probably be having an unboxing session, provided that my parcel arrives today, which will be exciting. Uh, anyway, this mask, uh, I just did a kind of cutesy expression. I called this Kiku like file. I called it femme because it was more like a feminine face, I guess. Uh, but, you know, it could be used for male characters too. Just depends on the expression that you want your character to have. I also tried doing 3D sculpted eyelashes and um, an eyebrow. I, I One singular eyebrow, no, two eyebrows um, on this one. I'm getting a little bit better at sculpting ears. I've figured out how to, you know, stylize them. Sorry about the background noise. Our fire kind of exploded today. <laughs> so there's soot and smoke everywhere, except my workroom, because I'm keeping my door shut to keep the soot and smoke out. So, yeah, well, that's the thing that happened today. We're fine. It, it wasn't, uh, you know, nothing too dangerous. Just, you know, the soot all came out of the fire. Not great. <laughs> Anyway, I really struggled with trying to get this um, sculpt to work for me. I don't know what I have done to this one to make it so Mesh Mixer couldn't, like, separate things. Well, no, it could separate things, it just couldn't join certain things together and then it couldn't, um, what couldn't it do? Export the file? It couldn't export the file. I had to, instead of just, um, having it as one singular object I exported in the end after I had separated it for a second time I had to do this process twice because I was it's my probably my own fault for something wrong with my model that I just wasn't seeing it was quite late at night when I sculpted this see it's 11 o'clock then so I finished it this morning because last night I was like I'm going to bed I'm just going I'm going to bed <laughs> so so this morning I opened it up again and I separated more elements out so I had less um I have no idea how to describe this. Basically, I separated it more than I normally would, and uh, what else did I do? Uh, that's about it. I separated, I did a boolean difference, as they call it in here, which uh, separates, like, um, chops out the model section you want. Then I still couldn't get the model to, like, connect itself, so I just had to separately export the ears and the face, so I <laughs> attached the ears later on, so... That's what I did. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a mask that I guess could be printed, and uh, the ears might need a bit of fixing up before anyone prints it, and maybe also the eyes. I did not spend too much time fixing this up. I mean, I fixed up uh, the rough edges, I sculpted some eyelashes. That's about it, really. I mean, not much to say. It's a, it's a Kigu mask. Originally, I was just gonna like sketch those in for you know, showcase purposes, like, oh, this is what you could do with the mask, and I was like, you know, why don't we try doing some 3D sculpted eyelashes, that would be fun. So, that's what I've done. Um, yeah. I don't really have much else to say. I haven't worked on my next Kigurumi project yet, I haven't had time. I'm, this, this sculpt is rough around the edges because I have to go to work today with, you know, fursuit work. <laughs> I say go to work like I go somewhere, I stay in the same room and I just work, so, you know. Anyway, um, I'm currently working on a Psyche K or Psyche Kusuo Kigurumi mask. Well, currently, I will be working on one soon when I finish my commission work. <laughs> and uh, here's the finished mask that I've sculpted today. It's kind of cute. I wouldn't mind printing this out and working on it. Um, but for now, it will just be a digital file. It needs a bit more finishing up, really, as well. See, it's a bit, it's a bit rough around the edges there. You know, it does for today's video, so thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button, as that probably hurts, it's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one, and bye!